Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in today's episode we are going to be building a cow crammer. Cow crammer is the best way to get food in Minecraft and also gives you the best food which is steak. Along with building a cow crammer I'll also be showing you how to build a super smelter but instead of regular furnaces we're going to use smokers so we can cook our beef faster. Welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play series. This is episode two. And off camera, I did a little bit of work around the base. I put a campfire in right here. I grew some giant spruce trees. Oh, hello, zombie. <laughs> I grew some giant spruce trees in this little spruce tree. Um, I thought it might fit in a little better. And then I built this little thing on the beach. I thought it looks cool. And it just added something to the beach so it didn't feel so empty. And I also added these little plants around the house. So a cow crammer. First off, what on earth is it? So, a cow crammer uses a special Minecraft rule. It's called entity cramming. With entity cramming, you can only have a certain amount of entities in an area before it starts killing them, so it doesn't lead to lag. So, we can actually exploit this game rule. Well, not exploit, but uh, we can use it in a specific way to kill mobs and get their drops. So, in today's episode, we are going to be using spruce and... I think we're just going to be using spruce, like just solely spruce, and yeah, I think that should be all that we're using for today's build. So the building blocks for this to build are actually ridiculously simple. All you need is some building blocks, a fence, a hopper, a collection chest, and some wheat to breed the cows. And of course, cows. Um, if you didn't have, a, if you had a cow crushing or you didn't have cows, you might run into some problems. So first, I'm going to build the actual building around the cow crusher. Um, if you want to see the actual build of the cow crusher, skip to the time on screen. Alright, so now we are going to go ahead and get started by building a little perimeter. So, I'm going to make it 7x7. Seven seven. So, 1, 2, and that should be 7. And, of course, it wasn't 7. Why would it be? I'm sorry, Lantern. You're going to have to move for a minute. So now that we have our layout, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build these up, probably like five, so one, two, three, four, five, right there, and then do the same for all of them. Alright, now that we have that done, uh, let's go ahead and make some spruce stairs. Um, maybe not that much. Yeah, that would be way too many. So maybe just two things of them. I'm going to do something like this. And then come up the sides like this. Yeah, 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 that looks good. All right, and I think I'll cap these off like this. And then I'll put like a slab or something right there. All right, guys, I think we're going to hit a short and sweet time lapse. Uh, just to speed this up a little bit so you guys aren't sitting around and waiting for this. So, yeah, time lapse. Alright guys, and with that we are done with our time lapse. So let's get started on the cow crusher. So first you're going to want to place a chest. Behind that chest you're going to need a hopper running into that chest. Then all, all around this hopper you're going to want blocks. I'm a little short on blocks so I will be right back. Alright, I'm back with materials. I did forget to mention one thing, guys, and that is that you need a backward staircase on top of this hopper. So place a temporary block on top of the hopper and place an upside down staircase like this so you can access your chest. And now we will just need to build up all around this two blocks. So now that we are two blocks high, we will need to put water right there. And then we will also need to get our cows in here now. We will also need a way to get our cows in here, so I'm just going to build a simple little staircase 
and put that right there so it's easy to lead them over here and push them in. And look at that. This cow just volunteered himself. That is so nice of him. All right, cow, would you like to be forced into slave labor? I meant freedom. Come on up, mate. Uh, no. Uh, up the staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, so just stay right there. And let me just nudge you in. You're good with this, right? Oh, you aren't? Uh, well, that's, that's too bad. It's too late now. You're stuck in there forever. All right, you got this. All right, you can do this. I'm talking to myself. I know you can. Um, I don't know if I can, though. All right, um... This, is this guy hacking? Are you hacking? Or, you just, or do you just have two insanely strong legs? I have plenty of snacks for you. So right here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you just glided right over it. Okay. Second try, second time the charm. Yes, okay, now we got it. So now we just need to get a little platform up here and I'm gonna build a staircase up here. So give me a second. All right, now that I have my staircase up here, you're gonna wanna place a temporary block right here and a fence. So that is actually going to be it for the mob crusher part of this. But now let's get on to the super smelter. All right, guys, so for an auto smelter, you're actually going to want to start out by putting a collection double chest. It doesn't have to be a double chest if you're just building like a single side of this. But in my case, it will be a double chest. So first, you're going to crouch, jump up, place two hoppers on top of that chest. So if you put an item into the hopper, it should run down into the chest like that. And then on top of those two hoppers, you're going to want to place a smoker right there. And then going into those two smokers from the side like this, you can have it like that. Or if you wanted to, you could have it going into the side like this. Um, yeah, I may do it like that. That looks a lot better. And then two hoppers run into the top for your actual items that you're smelting, and then your fuel will run into the sides like that. If you're wanting to have to make a smoker, any type of wood, doesn't matter, could be stripped, whatever, and then a furnace. All right, guys, so that is actually going to be just about it for today's episode. And if you enjoyed, then make sure that you drop a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.